Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today topic is a structure of atom. Structure of atom. So today we'll solve the numerical based on structure of atom. Need previous year paper, right? So first question which is asked in twenty twenty one. A particular station of All India Radio, New Delhi broadcast on a frequency, right? So All India Radio, which is broadcasting at a frequency of at one three six eight, so kilohertz, kilohertz. So this is the unit of frequency, right? Next, the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation. You have to find it. You have to find the lambda, right? Emitted by the transmitter, and we know the speed of light that is three into ten raised to eight meter per second. It is asked in need two to one. So look at the first question. It is given data. So we will use the formula. That is formula, right? So formula is given by the energy formula. That is E equal to h mu or mu here is frequency right so as we know frequency equal to c by lambda so put here h c by lambda e equal to right now put the value and you get the get the lambda we know the frequency this part here and a speed of light then we get the lambda by using this formula only right by this formula no need to use this one energy formula so lambda is equal to c by mu so c value is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second divided by frequency frequency is 1368 into kilo kilohertz it means kilo means 10 raised to 3 right hertz means per second so when you will calculate you will get 219.3 meter this is your lambda right very simple question asked in 2021 now see the next next question is second one number of photon electron and neutron in in LU this is your 71 this is your 175 respectively so you have to find the proton neutron and electron so this is your atomic number Z Z is called atomic number and how it is defined it define it is equal to number of proton equal to number of electron or it is also written in a small letter right so we have got the value of e and p that is 71 and upper one is called a a is your atomic mass atomic mass so a equal to atomic mass and it is nothing but proton plus neutron proton value is given that is 71 neutron value we don't know and a we know that is 175 so you can find neutron easily now 175 minus of 71 5 minus 1 is 4 7 minus 7 is 0 so neutron value is 104 so this is the answer for you right it is Asked in 2020. Now see the next sum. Third one. Third one is. Number of angular nodes. And radial nodes. In 3s orbital are. Angular. Node. And. Radial node. Find. You have to find in. 3s orbital 3s orbital 
right? It is asked in 2020. Let's see the explanation, right? So, zero will be angular node and two be the radial node. So, let's see how it has come. So, number of angular node is L. So, how to find the number of angular node? Number of angular node. Angular node is equal to L. What is L? L is your azimuthal quantum number. Quantum number. Right. There are four types of quantum number, right? Which one? Principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, spin quantum number. Right. So it is equal to L. And as we know for S, L is equal to 0. And for P, L equal to 1. And for D, L equal to 2. And for F, L equal to 3. Right. So, we are talking about here for S. So, for S, L is your 0. That's why angular node is 0. And for radial node, how we get? So, you, we use another formula for radial node. So, number of radial nodes. So, radial node is equal to N minus L minus 1. Right. So, N is your principal quantum number and L is your azimuthal quantum number. Right. So, for 3S, orbit is 3. So, put here 3. L we know 0 minus 1. So, it is 3 minus 1. That is equal to 2. That's why radial node is 2. For 3S. So please write up to this point. Right. Now look at the question number 4. Potential energy. So potential energy is denoted on y-axis. Curve for hydrogen formation. For hydrogen formation. Right. As a function of internuclear distance. As a function of inter nuclear distance that is your x is given by the diagram so i will take the draw the diagram for you so this your b this your c this is your a right so graph is given like this so, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, right. So, now see the explanation. Bond energy of hydrogen is the difference in energy due to the bond formation. In the graph, A is the amount of energy, right. A is nothing but it is the amount of energy in atomic form, right. Atomic form energy. Form energy. While B is the amount of energy is bonded form. But B equal to amount of energy in bonded form. So, the bond energy will be, so, bond energy will be B minus 8, right? So, you can redraw, redraw the diagram like this. This is your bond energy. Right. This is A value that is equal to 0 0.00 positive. Right. This is your negative value. 
this is negative B. Right. This is the formation of HS. Two atoms are present in the infinite distance. So this is HH covalent bond formation. Covalent bond formation. Bond formation. Two atoms are present in infant. So here this is infant distance. Infant distance. Right. So please write down. Write it down. It is asked in 2020. Now see the next sum. Question number 5. Uh, 4D 5P 5F and 6P Orbitals are arranged in the decreasing energy. So, right. So when we have to find the energy level, then we have to apply the above formula. So that is equal to above formula AUF BAU. This is your above principle to find the energy of the orbitals. So is equal to N plus L. Right. N is principal quantum number and L is your azimuthal quantum number. N is your principal quantum number. Principal quantum number. Right. So higher the value of N, greater will be energy. Right. Because they are directly proportional. So to find the high energy level, so N must be higher. Right. So, you can applying by this formula, you can find the energy also. So, E is equal to 4D. 4D energy will be N equal to here 4. L is equal to 2. So, for energy for 4D will be 4 plus 2. That is equal to 6. Next is energy for 5P. For 5P, N is your 5 and L is your 1. So, E P 5 is equal to 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6. Right. And energy for 5 F will be what? For N is your 5. L is your right. For P what will be? As we know for L 0 for S and for P it is 1 and for D it is 2. And for F it is 3. So I will use here 3 for finding energy in the 5F. So it will be equal to 5 plus 3 that is equal to 8. Right. Next is energy of 6P. So it will be 6 plus 1. So it is equal to 7. So you can now check it out which one has got the higher value. This is 6. This is also 6. This is 8. This is 7. So, highest energy will be 5F. Lesser will be 6P. And here they have got the same energy level. Then we count the N. So, N 5P is N value is more than 4D. So, this will be the decreasing energy level of the orbital. Right. So, please write it down. It is asked in 2019 in NEET. Asked in 2019 in NEET. Now look at the question number 6. Which of the following series of transition in the spectrum of hydrogen falls in visual region? Right. So you have to find the visual region which is asked in 2019. Right. So look at the question number 6. So, Balmer series lies in visual region. So, this question is based on memory. Memory based question it is. So, it is Balmer series lies in visible region. Visible region. Right. And Parchans lies in infrared region. Infrared region. 
पाचन सीरीज लाइज इन इंफ्रा रेड इंफ्रा रेड रीजन सिमिलरली नेक्स्ट वन इज ब्रैकेट सीरीज ब्रैकेट सीरीज लाइज इन इंफ्रा रेड रीजन इंफ्रा रेड रीजन नेक्स्ट वन इज लाइमन लाइमन सीरीज लाइज इन अल्ट्रा वायलेट अल्ट्रा वायलेट रीजन राइट सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस रीजन लाइमन इट इज आस्ट फोर इन नीट सो इट इज आस्ट इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन सो सेवन इज एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन डी और बाइटल यू टू फाइंड इट सो यू टू फाइंड द एंगुलर मोमेंटम इन डी और बाइटल राइट सो इट इज आस्ट इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सेवेंथ वन सो एंगुलर मोमेंटम कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय द फॉर्मूला अंडर रूट ऑफ L into L plus one. So this will give you the angular momentum, right? So for d orbital, L is equal to two. So you will get angular momentum here as two into two plus one. That is equal to two into three. That is equal to root of six h, right? Bohr magnitude. This will be the unit. Now look at the question number eight. Eight one is calculate the energy in joule corresponding to the light of wavelength forty five nanometer. So lambda is given forty five nanometer. Right. So you have to find the energy in joule. Right. So Planck constant value is given. H is equal to six point six three into ten raised to minus thirty four joule second. Right. A speed of light is given. That is three into ten raised to eight meter per second. So you have to find the energy in joule. For this, we will use the formula E equal to H mu mu is frequency, so it is equal to H is equal to c by lambda, right? So energy is equal to H value we know that is six point six three ten raised to minus thirty four joule second, right? Into speed of light three into ten raised to eight meter per second divided by light. That is wavelength. That is forty-five nano means ten raised to minus of nine meter. So when you will calculate, you will get four point four two into ten raised to minus eighteen joule. Right. So this is the value of energy. It is asked in two thousand fourteen in AIPMT. Now look at the next sum, question number nine. So the value of Planck constant is again given. That is six point six three into ten raised to minus thirty four joule second. Speed of light c equal to three into ten raised to of seventeen nanometer per second. Which value is the closest to the wavelength in nanometer? Right, so you have to find the lambda basically. Right, whose frequency is given? Frequency is six into ten raised to of fifteen per second. Right, it is asked in NEET two thousand thirteen. 
so let's see the explanation of ninth one and and as we know mu is equal to c by lambda so lambda will be equal to c by mu right so put the value and get the answer very easy to find it the lambda value so c value is given that is 3 into 10 raised to 17 nanometer per second divided by frequency frequency is how much 6 into 10 raised to 15 per second so it will be equal to 15 nanometer so this will be the answer for it right it is asked in 2013 Now look at the question number 10. Energy E1, E2. Of two radii are given. That is, energy of first is 25 electron volt. Second energy is 50 electron volt. The relation between their wavelengths, you have to find. Lambda 1 and lambda 2 relation, you have to find between these two given energy right so so we know the formula for energy is equal to h mu and after putting frequency value that is equal to sc by lambda so e1 is directly inversely proportional to lambda right these quantities are constant right so it will be e2 is equal to 1 upon lambda 2 so just divide this equation 1 and 2 then you will get e1 by e2 equal to 1 upon lambda 1 upon 1 upon lambda 2 right so now simplify this one so it will multiply with this and this will go here right so your formula will become e1 by e2 is equal to lambda 2 upon lambda 1 right so put the value of E1 and E2. E1 is 25 electron volt. E2 is 50 electron volt. Is equal to lambda 2 upon lambda 1. Right. So it is equal to 1 upon 2. It's equal to lambda 2 upon lambda 1. So this is the value and relation between them. So now cross multiply. So lambda 1 is equal to 2 lambda so this is the relation between lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now look at the question number 11. Energy absorbed by each molecule A2 of a substance is. So energy of E2 is given. A2 is given that is 4.4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule. Bond energy per molecule is given. Bond energy per molecule is given. That is equal to 4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule. Kinetic energy of the molecule per atom. You have to find. You have to find the kinetic energy per molecule. Right. So it is of question number 11. So let's solve it. It is asked in 2009. AIPMT. So energy absorbed by each molecule is equal to bond energy per molecule plus kinetic energy. So this is the relation between them. So write the formula energy absorbed by each molecule is equal to bond energy per molecule plus kinetic energy per molecule. Right. So put the value, then you will get the answer. Absorbed value we know, right? This value is given that is 
this one that is 4.4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule is equal to this value is given bond energy that is 4 into 10 raised to minus of 19 joule plus kinetic energy per molecule right so kinetic energy per molecule is equal to 4.4 minus 4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule so it is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule so this is the kinetic energy value right This is kinetic energy per molecule. When we have to find kinetic energy per atom, per atom, then divide it by 2. So, for 0 0.4 into 10 raised to of minus 19 by 2. So, it is equal to 0 0.2 into 10 raised to of minus 19 joule. Right. So, this will be the energy per unit atom. Now look at the question number 12. So the value of Planck constant is given. H is equal to 6.63 10 raise to of minus 34 joule second. The velocity of light is given that is 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second. Which value is closest to the wavelength in nanometer of a quantum of the frequency? So, frequency is given that is 8 into 10 raised to of 15 per second, right? It is asked in 2003. So, let us see the explanation. So, frequency value we know the relation between them. So, frequency is equal to C by lambda. So, you can find it out easily lambda. So, lambda will be C by mu. C is 3 into 10 raise to of 8 meter per second divided by frequency is 8 into 10 raise to of 15 per second. Right. So, calculate it. You will get 0 0.375 into 10 raise to of minus 7 meter. So, this is your lambda value. Right. And we are given 1 meter is equal to 109, 10 raised to 9 nanometer. <coughs> so, multiply it to find the gate into nanometer. So, 0 0.375 into 10 raised to of minus 7 into 10 raised to of 9 nanometer. So, it will be equal to 0 0.375 into 10 raised to of 2 nanometer. So it will be 3.75 into 10 ratio of 1 nanometer. So final answer is it is approximately equal to 4. So 4 into 10 ratio of 1 nanometer lambda.